What's up guys and welcome back to Face Over Matter. It is your girl Jay here and in today's video I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to you all if you do celebrate the holiday. Today's going to be a great day. Hopefully you will be able to watch this video while you're still waiting for the food to cook because I'm pretty sure the food's not even ready yet. But if you do not celebrate the holiday that's okay. Just happy Thursday to you guys. Hope you all are feeling wonderful today. Today hopefully it's beautiful outside. I'm actually recording the day before Thanksgiving today so technically today is Wednesday and looks beautiful outside. I'm praying for this type of weather on tomorrow as well but in today's video I wanted to do a beautiful really nice makeup tutorial I seen this picture online and it was really simple yet very fall appropriate and just to kind of bring in the fall colors and something like that so make sure you guys check out today's a Bible verse which will be down below also in the description bar along with some FAQs and just some other information makeup listings all that good stuff I'm gonna start with my Ole Regeneres um, SPF um, moisturizing lotion all right, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of gloss. Just wanna put a little bit of Fenty gloss on just so my lips aren't crazy dry. So the skin is prepped, ready to go. I'm gonna add a little bit of my True Complexion Primer just simply because my one of my really close friends is coming in from Atlanta today and we may go out. You know, with this primer, you wanna hurry up and get it moisturizing because once it sits, it's like it sits, you know. And just to help block away some more of that um, shine, I'm gonna take some Charlotte Tilbury powder and I'm gonna just tap a little bit over this area of my face. I just really don't wanna be oily at all. All right, awesome. So let's go ahead and apply foundation. All right, I'm gonna just take my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in Warm Honey. Now using this foundation with the primer and the powder, I should have no oil trying to play me today. I should have none. Let me know down below if you guys have tried the powder over like your oily areas. So what type of food are y'all having? Who actually helped cook in the kitchen? Do holidays ever remind you of like a specific time in your life? Like I was just thinking about it like this time last year. Like my hair was so short and I was so stressed. Okay, anyway, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium Dark 32. Yeah, I got a bump coming on my chin, so that's always wonderful. Just a icing on the cake. Cover up that bump, y'all. Gotta get that bump. I put too much right here, but we gonna get that too. So I honestly really like this ColourPop concealer. I think like over time as you use products, you start to like a product a lot more as you continuously use it. That's why I think sometimes first impressions, I mean they're first impressions, so I mean they start, they serve their purpose, but you know. Sometimes just using it off the jump is kind of like, you have like your opinions about it, but then it's like you really don't give it justice yet because you haven't really worn it, worn it. Oh, my grandma said I'll be back. I'm coming. I had to go see my grandma. I love her so much. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face using the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Like you can tell my mood just changed, right? Like she makes me so happy. Okay, I'm just gonna set. The concealer, and yep, I just noticed I didn't use my cream contour, but that's okay. We gonna make this work. Look, I came outside, she was like, Lucy, where are your clothes? I'm like, Grandma, I feel good outside. She was like, you gonna get pneumonia. I'm like, don't speak that on my life. <laughs> she talk about stuff, you don't do that. I'm like, yes ma'am. Yes ma'am, okay. Cause I do have on like a tank top, but y'all know I be trying to be all professional looking on the camera, so like, I had to hear even run outside because she was getting ready to leave. Isn't it amazing? My grandmother is in her 70s and she's still working. Like, not a hard job, like she works because she wants to. She doesn't have to, but it's such a blessing. But she still works, she can still drive, she can still do for herself. Like, she is a true woman of God and I'm just so honored to still have a grandma that's like that old school grandma. I'm just so honored. Gonna use my CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder in 745 and I'm just going to kind of Dust it. I like to dust this over, like in between the concealer area and like the lower part. I'm gonna add a contouring bronzer, but then again, I might not because my foundation be dark sometimes. <laughs> so when I add the other stuff, it'll be fine. But I was trying to tell you guys 
I was trying to tell you guys that my best friend, um, she is, she gave me the approval yesterday. I was at her house yesterday. She gave me the approval that I could do her maternity photos. She is currently seven months seven months going on eight months pregnant right now she's doing january so i'm super excited she's having a boy and she was she's talking about something i was meaning to ask you if you would do them anyway but i know you'd be busy i said girl i will make time for that don't play with me i get to do her makeup she she's a hairstylist anyway so she would do her own hair but i was like let me do your makeup give you something really beautiful and elegant and just gorgeous she got her whole pregnancy phase and glow going on like i'm just I'm just so full of joy right now. And um, she gave me the approval to do that. So I said, well, pick a day. I even texted her today. I said, today would be a great day to do it. You playing? She was like, my hair look a mess. I'm like, do something to that head. Because I want to do it on a day that's really pretty. We could use the colorful leaves. Plus, I just got me a new lens, too. I said, yeah, let me play around with my new lens and stuff. So we're going to do it soon. Hopefully today when I go out, I may be able to find her a maternity dress stuff like that she'd be she'd be stressed about outfits and stuff so I said don't worry I said I'm gonna find you something just tell me your size I'm gonna see what I can do and then hopefully her husband her other son um hopefully they can find something to kind of match her so that way we can do some solo pictures with just her and the baby bump and then we can do some with her and her son and then some with her and her husband and then her her son well two both of her sons now and her husband. Y'all are awesome people. They've been a true blessing to my life. They have come in and just helped me through some things. And whew, God just knows who to place in your life. And I think it's such a blessing. It's so, it's so wonderful. And I'm, and if we talk about being thankful, I'm thankful for you guys. <laughs> I'm thankful for my YouTube family. I'm thankful for you guys. I love y'all. I'm grateful for my family that's in physical form with me right here. And I'm grateful, most grateful and thankful for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed to say who I worship and who I serve. Okay, so I am doing, I'm too excited because my brows are looking like crap. <laughs> oh man, my brows look like crap. Hold on, let me let me concentrate real quick so I can get past this part. Cause when I tell y'all I hate, I know hate is a strong word, but I hate doing my eyebrows. Cause some day, like my brow looks straight. <laughs> Cause some days I will finesse my brows and don't even have to put in a whole lot of work. I know what it is. They need reshaping. I haven't shaped them in probably a month and some change, probably longer than that. All right, so I'm gonna go through now and we're just gonna dust off the rest of the powder. Again, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. And I keep on saying this, this powder is awesome. It has a really nice radiance to it. You won't really get what I'm talking about unless you get it but in person it just has like it like it sets the face but it has like this really nice radiance to it which i honestly think is pretty dope i'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with some rose water just to get rid of all of the powder that has accumulated all right i'm using the shade bashful today i told y'all i interchange these blushes i use one one day and then one the next so it gives me like a peachy golden blush but still like some radiance Y'all see that? It's sort of like a subtle highlight. Going ahead and highlighting. Y'all already know. This ain't nothing new. Master Chrome for Maybelline. Y'all already know this. All right, I'm gonna go back through later on in the video and like really finesse my brows. My brows look horrible right now, but when I tell you I cannot stand doing my eyebrows, so I'm not even gonna worry about them. My eyebrow pencil will be right here on the side waiting for me because they do not look good right now at all. But when I tell you, I don't feel like doing them. Let's go ahead and get our transition stuff out of the way. I have to be really careful with this palette because this is a new white tank top. It's like one of those girdle tank tops. We're not even gonna discuss why I have on a girdle tank top. Let's just move past the moment, okay? Let's move past the moment. I'm gonna be using the Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette. This is kind of, this is like the first um, edition of like the big old artistry palette. I know they just came out with a new one with James Charles. Go James, that's awesome and great. I've been hearing great things about that palette, but I don't have it yet. I've been trying to contemplate if I wanna buy it or not. Haven't came around to get it, and plus the fact it's sold out last time I looked. So we're just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna be dipping into the shade. If y'all don't leave me alone while I film, don't nobody bother me while I'm just sitting at home twiddling my thumbs. I'm gonna go into the shade called Sculpt. It's a nice brown shade, very nice and warm. I was gonna go into Evolve, but Evolve is gonna be like way too rich, if that makes sense. 
and we're too rich for right this very second so i'm just gonna go in with sculpt this look is very easy that's why i was like let me go ahead and do this one for the thanksgiving look because it's like super easy but like very nice and colorful and it may look like you took the time to like finesse it when you really didn't you know i'm gonna actually dip into evolve because this one is not the exact color that i want Okay, so next what I wanna do is go ahead and jump to the lower lash line. This is just me kind of like prepping the lower lash line, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go into the shade called, called Pine. P-I-N-E, Pine. I'm a little congested, so a lot of my words are not coming out the way I want them to. It's like I really sound congested and it's super irritating. All right, so I'm going to focus this color on the outer corner, and I'm just gonna be slowly building this color up I'm only going from the outer corner to kind of like midway. Come on, tree in the back, what's good? I'm just in a great mood, like, look at me. Hey. <laughs> so with this color next, it's a yellow, and this one's from the ColourPop A, it's the Cute AF ColourPop palette. I'm gonna take this color, and this is kind of gonna be like my base color from what I'm gonna put on top. As said, this is my base color, so even if it's not as vibrant, which I don't even think this yellow was that super vibrant. Actually, actually, yes it is. I'm not sure if you guys can really see it that good on camera, but I'm just gonna take this and pile the color on. I'm going for more gold in the inner corner, but I didn't want that bronzy gold. I wanted kind of more a bright, shiny gold. This would be the, per the perfect gold, I think, would have went great right here, would have been the Trophy Wife Highlighter from Fenty. But I do not own that, so I have to improvise. Okay, so for the top, now the top color of your eye, you can literally do whatever you wanna do, but I had one color in mind. What I'm gonna do is mix these two colors together just so I could get the perfect shade that I want. So what I'm gonna do is it's gonna be a mixture between this color, which is called Strut and Slay, and then this one that's called Diva. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply Diva first. And again, this is one of those makeup looks that is very kind of like effortless. You don't have to be too exact. It's like you just build up your crease and everything and then you can just apply your lid color with your finger and go. After I do that, you see how easy that was? Just apply the color with my finger. My favorite finger to use is my ring finger for some reason. I just feel like it's the most delicate. Wipe a little bit of the excess off, then I'm gonna go into the Strut and Slay and then I'm going to just kind of tap it on top, but just to the point where it's like, okay, I can see both. Just to kind of get that color that I am desiring to have. Okay, so now that we have that underneath, the next color I wanna do is I wanna add like a little touch of blue in there as well. I really like how in the photo the girl has, she's kind of like has some blue in there. So I'm going to pick up the Dark Magic palette from Morphe with Jaclyn Hill from the Vault Collection. And they have a beautiful blue shade in here, right here called Busted. And I'm going to be using that. I'm just really taking this blue and kind of focusing more of it on the outer corner. But they actually do have a green shade in here. So I'm gonna take the brush that I was using and I'm gonna take Potion right down here in the corner. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of green. It's a definitely a lighter green, so let's see what we get. Okay, so also what I wanna do, which I didn't really pay too much attention to, I'm gonna take that yellow again from the ColourPop palette, and I'm going to place more of that color in the inner corner, because especially adding other colors will definitely overpower that. And I am gonna take a little bit into the inner corner. I was contemplating doing this, but since it's all gonna be the same color, I just decided to add just like a little touch I'm not gonna pack it up there like I did down here, but I just wanted enough. This one might work though. This one is a Makeup Geek Shadow. Hey, Makeup Geek. This is from that Z palette I was using in the other tutorial. This is another really super, 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 super old shadow. That's all good. This one is called Fortune Teller. And let's pop that. Oh yes, that was perfect. And we're gonna pop that right in this inner corner. And it's like, as I kind of blend the yellow up in here, it's like I'm seeing some of the gold poke through and it's kind of developing this nice orangey looking shade. Oh, where are my brown liners, y'all? Who took my brown liner? I thought, I do have a brown liner. Somebody's trying to play with me. I don't ever use my liner in the day I really want it. Huh, hold on. 
Who's why, guys? Who's why? Child, do not play with me because if I gotta use a lip liner, I will do it. Okay, so I can't find the one I want. So I'm just gonna use this one from LA Girl. It's called the Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner called Lasting Brown. I'm gonna put that in the water line. I guess this will do, that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and add some mascara. I'm gonna use my Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. This is one of my favorite liners. It's from Maybelline. It is the Face Studio Gel Liner. All right, so lashes are like that. I am going to fix my brows and I'm going to apply some lashes. I think I'm just gonna do some Demi Wispies. This one I just can't get right, what in the world? So they will dry. While I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. Gonna be using my night pencil from Minty Cosmetics. Y'all already know this. All right, since I can't find my peach lipstick, I'm gonna just use this Maybelline Super Matte Ink in Driver. This is like a super pale nude. But once you blend it in with the limp liner, it is beautiful. I'm loving it. I'm kind of like torn between adding a gloss right now. I don't know how I feel yet. But right now, I'm loving it matte. I'm loving it matte. Let me just kind of re-up on the liner up here. Let's take the hair down. So this is day two of some twist outs. I just uh, put a bonnet on it and slept on it. And here we are. I used the Twist and Shout Cream from Curls and Again, I was just trying to find something, like a product that I used to use a lot and just trying to figure out why I stopped. And I think I know why I stopped using this one because I do have some flaking and I'm not with that at all, so. Alrighty, my loves. Again, happy Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate it, again, happy Thursday. I just wanted you guys to have something to watch today, just in case. And um, I honestly really, really like this. I definitely like the fact that I went with the Demi Wispies rather than something super dramatic because you can still see the eyes aren't doing too much, but it's doing enough. And then I think all the action is kind of happening in the inner corner and the lower lash line. I love it. You could definitely go way more dramatic. You could probably add white in the waterline, which will probably make the look look way more kind of like boom out there, which... I don't know, I ain't gonna do it yet. Honestly, I love how this looks. Um, I'm super excited. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy your day with your family and your friends. Be safe if you go Black Friday shopping. I know that's everyone's thing, going to get those deals and those sales. I'm here for it, I'm all for it. I probably will be out in the mix as well. But be safe, um, always be on a buddy system. Have someone with you at all times. Just be careful, there are crazy people out in this world that want to do harm, especially during the beautiful holidays as this. So I love you guys so much be safe thank you so much for watching and just giving me your time today so again guys if you are new i'm jay and if you're not new i just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever i do here with my channel i love each and every one of you to know in and of course until next time god willing i will definitely see you all in my next video Mwah.